creativity. Today's video is going to be macrame bunting and it's another in my series, the um, style file, um, which is basically a series dedicated to DIYs that I've made that have come about because of either a magazine picture I've seen or something that's inspired me in a magazine. So if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and without further ado, let's hop right into it. So you want to start off with a long piece of string or macrame cord. Um, this is going to be as long as you want your bunting. And then you also want to cut yourself some strings of about 30 centimetres long. Um, and then you can lark heads, not these, to your long strip. I used six pieces to lark heads, not together. So I ended up with 12 strands in total as you can see here and once you've got all of your strips you want to begin knotting so all you want to do is do your knots you want to start off with the outermost piece and do knots by creating a four shape doing two on each strand and then moving in a strand until you get to the middle strand as you can see here once you get to the middle strand you want to do exactly the same but on the other side this time making a backward four pattern So here we are making my backward four pattern on these strips, two on the first strand, then you want to move on to the next strand and do two there and so on and so forth until you meet the middle and the last knot you did on the other side. Then you want to knot the two middle strands together to hold the two sides of knots together. And then you can move these out of the way if they're in your way before carrying on with the next row. Again, taking the outermost one, creating your four patterns starting on the left, doing two on each strand. And then when you get to the middle this time, you want to um, move the last middle strand out of your way so that you don't end up knotting it and repeat on the other side once again knotting with your four shapes all the way into the middle then once again you want to knot your two middle pieces this time moving the last two middle pieces out of the way so that they don't end up being knotted together again because you need to lose those in order to make the triangle shape and to do that I, all I did was poke mine out the back and you can trim those later on Then you just want to carry on repeating this pattern with your four shapes all the way down, losing the two strips in the middle each time once you've used them to knot to all the other pieces of rope on that line.
then when you get to your last row all you want to do is leave all of your strings hanging down and you don't have to have lost all of your strings this works until you've got like about an inch left so that your last row was about an inch long um, all you want to do then is gather up all of the strands so here I'm just bringing them all together and then using one of the back pieces of the string to wrap it around the front of the other strings in the what will be the tassel and then knot this round the back before pulling all of your strings as much as you possibly can trimming them so that they're all the same length and I also ended up pulling them apart so that they had a more of a tassel feel to them rather than just being a few strips of the rope then you can repeat this however many times you want to make as long a piece of bunting as you want and there we are Thanks for watching this video guys, I really hope that you enjoyed it, I'm really happy with how it turned out, I think it looks so so cute and adds a little bohemian vibe wherever you put it. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!